you to fuck me like I'm your dying wife and it's the last time. I'm thinking recently about my friends. My friends are always trying to get me to do drugs with them. I don't know if you guys have friends like that. I feel like you guys might be the friends like that <laughs> based on your judgment. Um, they try so hard. I'm so afraid of like every drug. I'm so afraid. And I'm just like not on their level at all, you know? My friends are like, just pop one Molly. I'm like, I don't even pop two Advils at the same time. Okay, I'm not, I'm not popping that Molly, you know? I can't, I can't pop that Molly. I recently went to a party and a bunch of my friends were like, let's do shrooms. And I was like, I brought Scrabble, you know? I was like, I don't wanna do it, no thank you. And one guy turns to me and was like, don't be lame. And then five minutes later, they decided they were gonna do the shrooms by putting them into a peanut butter sandwich. And the same guy was like, whoa, 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 I'm allergic to nuts, we can't do that. <laughs> I'm lame? He might get murdered by a peanut. He was like, what, are you afraid to get high? I'm like, are you afraid of trail mix? <laughs> like, what are we doing? He's like, nothing in the world feels as good as being high on shrooms. I'm like, yeah, I would say the same thing if I'd never had a Reese's cup. Are you joking? It's like a full body orgasm, what do you mean? I just don't take shit from people with nut allergies, like they're far too easy to get rid of, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oops, I didn't wash my hands, you're dead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, I do feel bad though sometimes for people with nut allergies. Like it must be very dangerous to date, you know? Because if your date had peanut butter, you're dead. <laughs> so I wish there was like a safe dating app for people with nut allergies, you know? It could be called like nut free nutting or like. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I wish there was a safe dating app for me as well. Um, I don't have a nut allergy, but I do have stomach issues and they're very dangerous. <laughs> I wish there was like an IBS Tinder, you know? It could be called like flirting with fiber, I don't know. It's all I do, you know? I tried to go on a date with a guy who had a regular digestion. <laughs> and he was like, let's go to dinner and then back to my place. <laughs> he was like, let's eat food and then have sex. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Not unless you want me to be the girl that puts the gas in orgasm, okay? It's not what you want. I can't, I can't do that. There's only one thing I can safely eat if I'm gonna be face down, ass up, okay? And that's white rice and a probiotic, okay? 48 hours in advance, preferably. 24 hours before I like to fast. I fast to fuck, I need to. I gotta empty out, okay? So I can fill up, you know what I mean? <laughs> I need to. The only reason I swallow is because I'm so hungry. <laughs> like, oh my God. <sighs> I needed that, you know? that so good <laughs> no I have really bad stomach issues I also have really bad commitment issues which I feel like is a fun combo because if I accidentally fart I can just ghost them you know I call that the gas and ghost you know what I mean <laughs> you know I need it <laughs> I need that dating app I have such bad commitment issues like I'm so afraid of relationships I want to be single I want to keep things casual but I have this really big issue I want to keep things casual but I like slow sex. I don't know if you guys have ever had sex with a guy who wants to keep things casual, but it's just about the fastest thing you'll ever do. He's like throwing you around the room, like ripping your clothes off. He's like, yeah, you like that? He's like, say my name. I'm like, what's your name? <laughs> who are you? Oh, it's so fast. It's so fast. They never want to do it slow. I feel like fuckboys are very afraid of slow sex. They think it's intimate, you know? And fuckboys are like more afraid of catching feelings than catching STDs, you know what I mean? I'm like, can you wear a condom? He's like, can you not look me in the eyes? He's like, herpes, no problem. Her pupils, no chance, okay? I won't do it. And then it's so fast. They never wanna do it like I like it. Slow, soft, delicate. Every time I try and have casual sex, the guy's like, what do you want me to do to you? And I'm like, I want you to fuck me like you love me. <laughs> I want you to fuck me like I'm your dying wife and it's the last time. Okay? And then don't call me tomorrow. <laughs> it's casual, what do you mean? <laughs> my, uh, my parents 
parents are divorced, I feel like we figure this out <laughs> throughout the set. I think we know this about me. <laughs> They're so divorced. I think it's amazing. I think having divorced parents is so good because you can use that shit against your parents for the rest of your life. Like my parents got divorced three days later. My mom was like, go do the laundry. Make sure you split up the dark and light loads. And I was like, no, you do it. You're so good at splitting up. You know? Or my dad, he got really upset. I stopped eating meat, became a vegetarian. He was like, I don't get it. You used to love meat. I was like, you used to love my mom. You know? The best though, we played a lot of board games and he'd always be like, stop cheating. And I'd be like, uh huh. <laughs> you first, you know? So fast. <laughs> ha ha ha, loved.